Um, I felt the need to get back into, you know, get started up. I, I know I've been lazy and just not doing it as I should be. Um, but with the times that we're currently living in, um, I felt it's important to have this available to you somewhere. Maybe you can replay this video or you can write it down or open your Bible. Okay, there, there's going to be some really bad times coming in the not very distant future. You'd have to be a fly not to know something's up in this world right now. And I believe and I hope you do in what the Bible says. Um, I tend to take it more literal than some do, but I think it's important that you at least have something to fall back on and something to, you know, think about when everything is going crazy. Today we're going to read Psalms 91, and Lord, I pray that you will anoint my words and that they, because they are your words. And that they will reach someone's soul and bring them to you or whatever is needed in their life at this time. So, I thank you, Lord, and hopefully it speaks to someone's future. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. And we all know what they are. <sighs> he will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you'll not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Thank you very much.